Hey everyone, welcome back. Uh, today's video is going to be a tutorial with some new items that I haven't yet tested or that I've just been testing for a short period of time. So I figured I'd kind of do like a tutorial kind of using them for the first time, giving you my thoughts as I'm applying them. So I'm going to be doing an eye look with the new NARS eyeshadow stud from the Holiday Collection and the new lip gloss from the NARS Holiday Collection or the Stephen Klein Collection. And then a new bronzer and that's pretty much all that's new. Oh, and um, a Lancome eyeliner. So I figured you guys could get my thoughts as I'm applying it and kind of a first impression slash tutorial. So the foundation I'm going to be using is the By Terry Cover Expert. And I've talked about this uh, a long time, I mean, for many different times. Hmm. Out here. Um, and I really, really like this foundation. It gives, I have it in the shade Fair Beige, which is a great shade for me. It actually is great for the winter time because it's a little bit, it, um, it doesn't oxidize and it's just, it's my winter time shade. I don't get too tan in the summer, but I do obviously get some color just because I'm out and about and this foundation is a little bit light for the summer, though I can use a bronzer and kind of warm it up. But I like it. I haven't tried the Sheer Expert, so I know a lot of people love that one. I like a little more coverage, just the way I am. I just, not that I really have much to cover, but I just enjoy a more of a heavier coverage foundation. And I'm using this blush brush from um, Bare Minerals that I've just fallen in love with and um, have adopted it as a foundation brush. That's pretty much how I do with a lot of my kind of fluffy blush brushes. I love using them as a liquid foundation brush just because they give such a nice kind of airbrushed finish and you just kind of buff it in to the skin as you can see. And it just gives a nice flawless finish. Okay, that should be enough. All right, moving on to brows. I'm gonna use the It Cosmetics Brow Power Pencil, which I've talked about before, and I've used in tons of my videos. I've, you know, I have like an Hourglass, the, the brow tool from Hourglass, which I love, and um, I have to replenish my Anastasia Brow Wiz, which is out. Right now I just ran out but I've just been gravitating towards this one lately. It's just, it's a little bit, I have their Your Brows But Better, and it's like a universal shade, which works perfectly for my color hair. I don't know if it's actually universal for everybody, but it's for my color hair. And this one's a universal shade as well. And I just, I like the color and it doesn't wear off throughout the day. I like the spoolie on the end definitely is just kind of what I've been reaching for. You know when you get in like a, I don't know, like a rut of using something that you really like and I've forgotten to pull out my other favorite brow products. Okay. So, probably one is a little bit darker than the other, but we're just gonna go with it. Okay, so instead of using a traditional, my regular, um, I'm actually gonna do concealer, but I'm gonna do it when I'm done with my eye look. Typically I do concealer right about now, but cause I'm doing, you know, I wanna see what the fallout is gonna be like for this shadow. I'm gonna do my concealer at the end. So I'm starting, I'm not gonna do an eyeshadow primer. I'm actually going to use a cream eyeshadow. This one is from NARS and it's their Velvet Shadow Stick in Goddess, I believe. It's just kind of like a, like a shimmery gold and it's a really just kind of beautiful, wearable, not too, doesn't give you too much color. As you can see there, not too much color, but it'll be a nice base to hold on to the eyeshadow, which is a little bit chunky. And when I swatched it on my Instagram, it definitely, you can kind of rub it in you know, with your, with your finger or with a brush, which I liked, but it definitely looks like it could have a slight bit of fallout. So 
for a brush, I'm going to need like a flat brush. Um, yeah, this one should be good. It's like a Mac brush that I had in like a travel set. Just there, um, 242, kind of a flat brush. And I'm just going to put that into the powder. Yeah, it does have quite some, um, it gets a little powdery. But I'm just going to try and press the color in. As you can see what I'm doing, I'm just kind of pressing the color into the lid. You can see it definitely gives like a strong high shine. And, but not, I mean, looking at it, it's not too, too glittery, which is nice because, you know, I can definitely wear it during the day. And I just put it all the way up to the crease and then just kind of windshield wiper back and forth into the crease. Once again, it's going to be a really simple eye look. I plan to do a little more involved eye look in the next few weeks with an eye palette that I've been, um, that I want to do a look with the Laura Mercier Artist Palette, which I've really been enjoying using. But this is just, I love these kind of like one color all over the lid colors that you can create like a full look with, but you don't have to spend you know, forever blending a bunch of colors together. And then I just take a windshield wiper brush, or windshield wiper brush, that's what I call these, um, a crease brush, this is the MAC 224, and I just go in like a windshield wiper motion. Isn't that funny? Windshield wiper brush. That's pretty much what it should be called. And so I didn't use any color in the crease, but obviously if you put the color, if you can see, see the like nice shimmer to it, and you just kind of blend it right into the crease. And it creates a little bit of depth. And let me see. So far, no fallout. So that is nice. And it actually applies quite opaque. Like I didn't need to keep applying tons and tons of layers. So that's good to that's good. I'm using the new Drama Liquid Pencil from Lancome. And it's like a long wear eyeliner. It's supposed to be like a a pencil liquid. So it's supposed to be as smooth and intense as a liquid, but a pencil. So just going along the lash line. It is very, very smooth. I'm using it in the dark brown. I think it's, let me check. Hold on just a second. Let me check the color. It is brulee. So just right I'm not going necessarily into the lashes a little bit into the lashes but just you know lining just the top I'm not gonna line the bottom simply because when I do a I line the bottom of my eyes it does give me a much smokier look and I don't want too much of a smoky look with a bold lip I think it's a little too much for me Okay. And these really do. I haven't, I just swatched them, but this is the first time kind of using them and they really glide on so nice. Wow. That was very smooth. They like didn't even tug on my eye at all. All right, for mascara, I'm gonna use the Lancome Hypnos Drama. Can you believe I've never tried this before? At least I don't think so. I tried so many different mascaras, but I don't believe I tried the Lancome Hypnos Drama. So that's, and I know it's like a complete, the Hypnose is one of their most popular mascaras. So I know it's like a complete beauty blogger fail, but I can't try everything. Hopefully, at least someday I'll have tried most, you know, brand cult classics. And liking this, definitely, um, it's a curved brush. So it takes some kind of getting used to. I'm so used to using like a straight brush that um, sometimes when you use a curved brush, I really have to kind of have been using it for a few days to get the hang of the brush on my lashes. But it definitely gives um, a good dramatic look here. I'm liking the finish. It's very separate. It looks like I probably, if I added my typical 
amount of swipes, it probably would build up to be quite bold and intense. So I just, for the sake of time, I'm not going to keep building it up, but if I was doing this look to go out for the day, I would completely build it up a little bit more. So definitely pretty bold, which is what I like. All right, so I didn't have a lot of fallout underneath my eyes, which is nice. So I'm gonna go in with my concealer and I'm using the Bare Minerals Bare Skin Complete Coverage Serum Concealer. And I have it in the shade Light. So I swatched a bunch of all of my cream and liquid concealers on my Instagram recently. So you should head over there and see, it's just a few days ago or a little while ago, you can scroll down and you'll see all, I just swatched them all. This is definitely, a little not too bright I think there is one lighter than this maybe there's not maybe I'm, I'm forgetting but this is definitely not too light which is good I do have some concealers which are definitely very very light and they help to you know brighten underneath the eyes but this one just really helps to just you know, conceal any darkness that's there and not brighten it up too much. So I don't have that like reverse raccoon look going on. Okay. So for the, I'm just trying to think, did I bring anything else here to use? No. Okay. For the cheeks, I am just going to keep it pretty simple with a bronzer and I'm testing out the Clarins bronzing duo. So that's beautiful. I just think that is such a pretty color. And I'm just gonna use, this is, uh, look at that brush is too big. I'm just gonna use the MAC 150, but maybe a 129, a blush brush, because I do want this to be more of a blush. So I'm just gonna kind of go in between the two. And just on my cheekbones, you know, I just kind of sweep all over the cheeks. I don't like to go anywhere else on the face. There's no, really no need. Sometimes I'll go in like the forehead a little bit, but I don't really feel like this needs any color on my forehead. And I just keep, it definitely is pretty smooth, because I've never tried this before. So this is definitely really smooth and it, take some building up, which I like because sometimes I don't want, you know, to put on too much, but it's really, really nice kind of color. I probably could have used like a little bit of pop of color on my cheeks, but this will be fine. And I have a rogue hair. Okay. And I've been using this highlighter all the time, even to work and that kind of thing. It is such a beautiful highlighter and it is the, um, I literally have a hair and I can't find it. I hate that. The Clay de Poe Luminizing Powder in 14. So absolutely beautiful. And I just kind of put this right up here. You can see the shimmer a little bit. And it just, I don't find it too much, to be honest. I find it to just give like a nice glow right here rather than to be so I wear it during the day. But you know, if you find that it's a little too much, you could save it for evening. But I definitely find that it gives like a slight, nice little sheen on the cheeks. All right, and then the finishing step is the NARS Larger Than, or no, Larger Than Life. Why am I, where am I getting that name from? Special Force um, Lip Gloss. And I, did I, they did change it to the, to, um, brush. I'm trying to think, like, did I remember seeing that they changed it for, to a brush from a doe foot? Or maybe it was never a doe foot. I just wasn't expecting a brush. Which actually is nice. It's giving me a little bit of control. It's very, very creamy. And somewhat of a jelly texture. So it's not completely like super opaque. It has like a jelly 
texture on the lips and almost, uh, oh, I got my teeth, that's nice. And it has like a, definitely somewhat transparent still, so it's not like a liquid lipstick, let's say. But really beautiful. Definitely like a beautiful kind of apple red. A little bit deeper than like a fire engine red. And definitely not too orange, which I think is nice. A lot of people don't like an orange red. I love an orange red. But I feel like this falls right in the middle. So it's kind of like a brownish kind of brick red, which I think is really pretty. So here's the final look. So we've got the NARS stud eyeshadow on the lid and that Lancome new liquid pencil in brulee right at the lash line in the um, Hypnos Drama Lancome and then the new Clarins bronzing duo. I have it in the shade 01 light on the cheeks and then I did a little bit of the Clay de Peau luminizing powder and then the um, NARS lip gloss in Special Force from the Stephen Klein collection. And then the Bare Minerals Bare Skin Concealer. So the concealer literally like blended right in. I barely even had to, I mean, it's literally just almost undetectable on my skin, which is beautiful. And I'm really loving this gloss. It's a little definitely sticky. Like it's definitely like hair in your lips, windy, no. So I would have to wear this on a day or a night where my hair was kind of back or I was prepared for it to kind of be like going all over the place. But the lid color, the stud shade is absolutely gorgeous and I feel like it could be a really great wearable day color and I have a feeling it could look good on a lot of different skin tones. However, it does have a silver base so it will not read as warm and golden on the skin. It will definitely have a more cooler silver look on um, the skin. So just to know that. So here's the final look. You know, a little bit, you could probably smoke it out if you wanted to with a little bit underneath the eyes. You could probably deepen up the lip. You could add a little bit of pop of color on the cheeks, but those are some of the new products that I've had recently um, that I've been uh, wanting to test out. And I figured I'd test it out and do kind of a first impression. So hope you guys like it and I will talk to you soon. Okay, take care. Bye-bye.